In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to calculate deferred annuities. Let's begin with a quick definition. A deferred annuity is like a regular annuity, except the first payment is delayed by a certain number of periods. Let's begin with question number one. Mark has $300,000 with which to purchase an ordinary annuity, delivering monthly payments for 20 years after a 10-year period of deferral. What monthly payment will he receive if the undistributed funds earn 5% compounded semi-annually? Now to answer these questions successfully, it really helps to create a timeline of what's happening. So he won't be getting any payments for 10 years from now. So right now, the money is worth $300,000. And for 10 years, that money will grow based on a 5% compounded semi-annually interest. Now, this is the time where he starts to receive his first payment. We need to find out the future value of 300,000 10 years from now. The value that we find at 10 years, that amount will be broken into payments in which he will receive, according to the question, every month for the next 20 years. So from 10 to 30 years from today, he'll be receiving monthly payments. So the very first thing that I want to do is to make sure that the interest which is 5% compounded semi-annually, matches the cash flow. The cash flow is monthly, but the interest is semi-annually. So we need to convert 5% compounded semi-annually into the equivalent interest that would be for monthly. And the way we do that is by using this formula, where I have 1 plus i raised to the power of n, where n represents the number of periods, and i represents interest. And that is equal to 1 plus i prime raised to the power of n, which is in reference to the interest that we're looking for, which is monthly. We want to convert 5% compounded semi-annually into monthly. I'll write down 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2, because it's semi-annually, raised to the power of 2. And what we're looking for is the interest that is monthly. So 1 plus i prime, that's what we're looking for, over 12 raised to the power of 12. And by solving for i prime, we have found the interest that we'll be using to find out the future value 10 years from today. So let's solve this really quickly. We will take both sides to the 12th root. And if I take the 12th root on the right side, it cancels out this exponent, leaving us with 1 plus i prime over 12. Now I'll quickly bring this 1 over and multiply both sides by 12, gives us this equation equaling to i prime. Let's quickly use our calculator. So we have 12 times the 12th root of 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 2, raised to the power of 2, minus 1, close bracket, and we end up with an interest that is 0 0.049486, 49486. So now we'll find out what 300,000 becomes 10 years from today. So the future value is equal to 300,000 multiplied to one plus the interest rate that we just found, 0 0.049486, Divide that by 12 because it is being received every month of the year. And to find out the n value, we'll be using n is equal to 10 years times 12 periods per year. And that is equal to 120. Let's calculate this. 300,000 multiplied to 1 plus 0 0.049486 divided by 12, raised to the power of 120. And so the future value 10 years from today, given our interest rate that we just calculated, is 
491580.107. And you want to keep all the decimal places. You don't want to round early. Now we will use the formula that's on the screen to find out the payments that will be paid out every month starting 10 years from today up until the 30 year mark. So the present value at the 10 year mark is 491580.107. We're looking for the payment, which is represented as PMT, one minus one plus our interest rate that we found, 0 0.049486 divided by 12, and that's being raised to the power of negative n. The n value will be 20 times 12, because that's the span from 10 to 30. 20 times 12 makes 240, so negative 240 over 0 0.049486 divided by 12. That's the denominator. Now using our calculator, I'll find out what that part is and then divide both sides by what we get. In parentheses, one minus, again open, one plus 0 0.049486 divided by 12, close, raise, negative 240, close parentheses, divided by, and at the bottom, 0 0.049486, divided by 12. So 152.179, decimal etc., is all of that. Let me write that down for you. Now at this stage, we divide both sides by this factor, and we'll end up with PMT, which is our payments every month, from 10 years from today. So 491580.107 divided by what we just found on our calculator, and we end up with $3,230, $3,230 decimal 27. That's the answer to question number one. I also have another question prepared here and I accidentally wrote down two different names. If you would like the answer to this question, feel free to write a comment in the comment section and I'll gladly show you the solution. With that being said, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you all later.